Hello smart people. Today we are going to do some cool trick by using just water. To do this experiment, I have this water dropper and I'm going to cut this in two pieces and I'm going to put, you can see the nut. I'm putting the nut in there and I'm trying to press enough so that it can stick over there. You can also use the glue if you like. And then I'm going to check in the water whether this is going to sink or not. So it sinks. So I'm going to cut for the smaller size so it could reduce the weight. And let's see what happened. Okay, it sink again. So next I'm going to try with the nail and, and to reduce the weight. So let's see what happened. So this is, is not sink so it's kind of bumping all over up and down once you hit from the top perfect this is a perfect thing that you need okay so next one i'm going to put this uh, dropper ball in the water bottle this is simple water and you can see it's like floating which is a good sign of this experiment working so i'm going to squish the bottle a little bit and you can see now this ball moving down it's cool right let's try one more time perfect right let's see more closer so why this is happening so two more things that you need to know about this mechanism first thing is density and second thing is volume so as soon i press the the bottle you can see the balloon of the bulb is also reduced down. Watch closely. See, it's narrowing down. I soon we reduce the volume of this bulb and the result increase the density of whole bulb, which is density is more than the water density. At the result, bulb is sink all the way down. As soon I release the pressure, and the bulb balloon getting back to the normal position at the result at the bulb come back until on the surface of the water very simple it's cool right i'm going to design another bulb uh, this time i'm using a perfume uh, tube which is i steal from my wife cupboard mm, smells so good <laughs> Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to dump the perfume and um, I'm going to put some water in it and then I'm going to test the sink test. So it's sink. So next time I'm going to uh, take out some water and then test again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so sound like it's floating. So you can also type a couple of time if this is like coming back smoothly, which is very good sign. So I'm gonna test in a small bottle first uh, before we go to the big bottle. This is just because of the small bottle uh, work little better than the big one. So sound like it's working perfectly to test in the big bottle. Okay. Perfect, it's going down. And uh, this time I am taking is take too much effort to press this bottle and to move this perfume uh, tube down. You can see <laughs> how much pressure I am putting on in order to put this perfume tube or perfume bulb down, up and down, right? So next I'm going to try uh, both bulb, the one I designed before with the water dropper and the perfume, perfume tube. So let's see what happened. Okay. Okay, as I expected, uh, the, the dropper bulb move faster. On the other hand, the perfume team, there's nothing happened. <laughs> okay, so what I did, I just removed a little bit of water from the tube and try again. Okay, it's going down and I'm pressing by too much power with my hand <laughs> and there's two things happen so you can see the the bulb the 
the dropper bulb is moving faster than the perfume tube this is just because of the every material is different and every balloon is different and they need different different places that's why their rate of sinking down and up is different so overall why we are doing this so you can know that uh, most of the submarine uh, engineering uh, use the same techniques in order to know their which object going to merge or sink in the water or float in the water or not okay so next cool thing i'm going to do just put i'm going to put the little bit of color in the bulb in order to see easier don't forget to take out some drop of water from the perfume tube you know otherwise it's going to be disbalance the the bulb density okay i hope you will like it will, it will look much better now okay it looks so cool right okay i'm going to pressing it and both tube are going down smoothly and coming back so this is very cool experiment that you can that you can easily do at your home by using simple water and also making this uh, designing this bubble uh, bulb is very tricky uh, but it's not very difficult uh, you can try thank you for watching if you like it please subscribe our channel love at home live at home sorry